Scientists have revealed the first images of a giant black hole at the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. The black hole is called Sagittarius A star. It's four million times the mass of our sun, which for some perspective is one million times the size of Earth. If your brain hasn't entirely flipped out yet, then you'll be happy to know the giant hole is a long, long way from Earth. Despite its size, it's not in any hurry to suck up everything around it. One scientist said if Sagittarius A star were a human, it would consume just a single grain of rice every million years. Well, joining us now is Jan Aldridge, Head of Physics at the University of Auckland. Jan, as someone in the uh, science community, just how exciting is this? It's, it's just hugely exciting. It's an image that perhaps 20 years ago, when I was just beginning to learn physics, I thought we would never have. And we've got indirect clues that this black hole must have been there. But to have an image that allows you to see the, the material swirling around the black hole and the shadow within, which is where the event horizon, where in some extent, to some sense and purposes, space time ends. And because once you go beyond that dark shadow, you can never come back. OK, <laughs> my mind is already <laughs> blown. What can we learn from this image that we didn't know before? Well, one of the biggest surprises is when you look at it, you can see the donut. You can see it looks fairly even all the way around, which is a big surprise because that suggests we're looking right down at the black hole and it's rotating. We're seeing um, the pole of the rotation coming almost directly towards us. I think it's not quite pointing towards Earth. It's about 30 degrees off to the side, but it's still that thing, which is unusual because we're looking at it through the plane of the galaxy. And so that black hole is not spinning in the same direction as the rest of the stars that are orbiting around it, all the other 100 billion stars in our galaxy. So somewhere along the line, something got mixed up and that was knocked onto its side. Um, and it's just, it tells us there's lots more which don't understand about our own galaxy. Oh, I think I already know that. But um, so, so this black hole is staring at us. This is sounding even more alarming by, by the minute. Uh, should we be alarmed by it being so close and pointing at us? Um, no, I think we were pretty safe because, um, and the press conference earlier on today, Freya Ozel, um, one of the main lead scientists of the telescope, um, said it's a gentle giant. One of the mysteries is that um, we saw another black hole earlier last year in M87 in another galaxy, and that was a really energetic black hole. But our black hole is quite a gentle giant. If it's only taking on a little bit of mass, it's not producing much energy. Um, and actually, one of the things is the models that they've got of this our black hole tend to suggest that it's, it's, they can't make one that's this low power. So there's an interesting that actually our black hole is quite a safe, gentle black hole, and uh, it's not going to cause us any problems anytime soon. OK, that's, that's sounding a bit more promising. Just quickly, though, uh, do we actually know what happens if something does get absorbed into a black hole? That's the big mystery. That's where space-time ends. That's where once you go beyond that um, event horizon, where we call it, which is where to get away from it, you'd have to travel faster than the speed of light. Nothing can get away. And actually, one of the interesting things is the more we study these black holes, maybe we'll start finding what is beyond our current understanding of gravity, because all the observations to date say our understanding of general relativity and of rotating black holes is correct. But it's what else we might find as we ever push these observational frontiers further to look at this black hole in further. And that's kind of exciting because it's like that's where our next level of understanding will come okay. from. OK, I totally get it now. I totally get it. Thanks so much for your time tonight, Jan. You're more than welcome, Ingrid.